everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new so you don't miss any future videos coming up. Today is the day. I'm going to give you guys a final classroom tour. This is my dream classroom, you guys. I am a second year, second grade teacher and Last year, if you guys saw my classroom tour, a lot has changed. So I thought I would give you guys a new tour. I'm not gonna ramble too much. I'm just gonna show you guys around. So it's actually the first day of school. So I have some of our paperwork out, but I figured what better day <laughs> to film a classroom tour than on the first day of school before kids get here, cause this is as clean as it's ever gonna look. So let's go ahead and do this. So starting off at the front door, this is a de door decor that I created. It is on my TPT as well as most decor in here that you see, which is always linked in the description below. So starting off when you first walk in, I just have this welcome friends doormat from Amazon and this little mat below it from Five Below. Then panning to this corner that is on your right when you walk in. I have this little cubby space, which is where I store all extra materials, dry erase markers, paper, and colored pencils, pencils and markers and stuff like that. Then down below is our indoor recess supplies. So we have like workbooks, puzzles, and building blocks. Panning up, this will not always be like this. It's just because it's the first day of school. First, I just have my <laughs> mask sitting there. I have this cute little frame our first day of second grade sign, and then some name tags for them to grab when they walk in. Panning up, we have our birthday wall. I thought this bulletin board was perfect for birthdays since it's super long and skinny. I found this birthday decor on TBT. Panning over, I'll give you a little view of the room. So starting over here is where we have our cubby space. So there's about 21 cubbies here, enough for each kiddo, and lots and lots of, lots of storage, which I love. And basically in each one of their cubbies, I just have their book bins, a little supply caddy, which we will fill today, their math, reading journal, and writing journal. Then up on the cabinets, we have our sound wall. I call it the Val Valley. And so um, in second grade, we learn all different types of vowels. So I have those all up there and throughout the year, I'll put post-its underneath of all the ones that we learn. Coming on to the back wall, we have our headphone storage right here. And then we have our first picture book, little bookshelf and our little decor gallery wall. I had a second or a third frame right here and it keeps falling down. So I decided to just keep it down for the first day so I don't have to deal with it. Onto the back wall, I have two bulletin boards. This one I am just going to use for math content. As you see, I will be putting anchor charts up here throughout the year. We have our place value posters. And then over here, we have our ELA bulletin board with our little writing process pencil, and I'll be putting an anchor chart up there eventually. We have our alphabet. This came in a big bundle on TPT. I bought it years and years ago. And then down here is where we have our cute little reading area. These white bookshelves are from Target. These clear book bins are from Amazon. We have our chapter books over here. This bench I actually found. Someone um, was throwing it away. It was by a dumpster. It was originally a dark brown color, but Kyle and I took it, we sanded it and painted it white. And I think it is just a perfect addition. And coming over here, we have another bookshelf. Our book return cart, our lap desks, and then just some other cozy stuff for them to sit with when they read. And this rug is from Well Woven. Panning to this back corner, this is my teacher space. So this is something that's really different from last year. I originally only had a really small desk over there. So I wanted to create a space where it could just be full of teacher stuff that kids couldn't get to. <laughs> the kids will not be allowed beyond this point. And over here, I'll start. We have um, something that the kids can access. We have our reading mats, 
our Friday folders for both of those. We have our two cute little stools from the Target Dollar Spot that they can grab and sit on to read during independent time. Coming up over here, I just have some decor and this is the best. It's a Glade air freshener. It like spritzes out um, every 45 minutes and it smells so good. I just put this little welcome sign here. I did originally have it hanging, but it kept falling. So just have it sitting there for now. My Cricut probably won't always be here, but I just have it sitting there for now. My favorite part of back here is my desk area. This is a desk from Flexi Spot. I talked all about it on my last vlog. I am so obsessed with it. I have my small group cart right there as well since I will still be doing small groups at this table, obviously, so I can just grab it and bring it over. This frame up here is really special to me. I received it um, during my student teaching. The class that I student taught um, gifted it to me at the end of the year, so I bring it with me everywhere and I just love having it right there to look at. Then on top of my desk, I just have this cute greenery. The greenery is from Amazon, and then I have no idea where that cute little mason jar is from, but I love it. Just have my sticky notes, hand sanitizer. This little supply caddy is from the Target Dollar Spot from last summer, and so I just stocked it with Sharpies, flare pens, dry erase markers, pens, and highlighters. Then I just have some more dry erase and Sharpies, because we know those always go missing throughout the year. <laughs> scissors, tape, all that good stuff. Then I have this. Um, I made this last year. This is just for any notes that someone needs to give to me or important info I just keep in here. I'm waiting to put our name tags on the tables until tomorrow, so I just have that here to remind me. My cute little Miss Campbell coaster. Little Good Work stickers. My stapler and tape and this cute little lamp. I have my Monstera plant, which if you guys have been watching me since last year, you know this baby has grown so much since last year. I originally got it with like two leaves on it and it's grown to now having seven leaves. Then I just have some cute little decor back here. Panning over here, we have our COVID rules wall. I just thought that was like a perfect wall for it. This is also on my TPT to download. Then down here, some boring stuff, just file cabinets where I store my lesson plans, mini fridge, and this tinder cart, which is definitely my favorite. It is where I keep all my plans. So this is all my plans for today and throughout the week. So this always comes in handy. Then of course, panning up to the infamous tapestry. This is from Redbubble and I believe it's in a size medium. Over this way we just have our cabinet area and of course these won't always be here these are just for the first day of school gifts that my kiddos are gonna get at the end of the day but this is just some counter space some more storage where my kiddos were turn in their finished and unfinished work our lost and found our sanitation station and then our sink area with our hand washing rolls this is also free on my TP2 if you would like to download it. Panning over to this corner, another favorite spot in the room. This is where we will have our morning meetings and read alouds. This rug is definitely the best part of the classroom in my eyes. I got this from Ashley Furniture Home Store. I love that it's neutral but still has pops of colors and goes with the rest of my theme. So starting on this bulletin board, we have our information center. This is where we will do our morning meeting every morning. We will go over the calendar, the weather, the days of the week, our class jobs. Painting over here, we have our objectives board, which obviously I don't have any objectives written right now, but I will eventually. Right here we have our themed bookshelf. So right now it's all kind of like beginning of the year themed books. We're gonna read our first day jitters book today. This is our um, talking lion. So during morning meeting, whoever's holding the lion is the one that gets to talk. We have our jobs and weather if I need to change anything. 
and then our pointing sticks for whoever is leading the morning meeting. I also got this super cute lamp off of my Amazon wish list. Whoever sent that, thank you so, so much. And of course, my rocking chair. Above this bulletin board, we have our respect posters. This I found on TPT as well. I love the colors and I loved the meaning behind it. I decided that respect will be our classroom word this year. So any letter we can refer to throughout the day, like, oh, don't forget E for everyone takes turn talking or something like that. I love that we can just kind of refer back to that throughout the day. Coming over to our whiteboard area. First, we have our clock with our numbers around it. I love having those there to help the kids. We have our class schedule on the right, teachers for student game, which is one of my favorite classroom management tools, just extra whiteboard markers, our certificates for student of the week. We have these cute tassels. These are from Amazon as well. And our voice level signs. Over here we have our smart board. I just put some cute little rainbow board around it and our lights. Below the smart board we have our little bench and this just holds some more supplies. Our whisper phones for independent reading, scissors and glue, and some post-its. Panning over to this section, this is just my Miss Campbell wall. I decided to just keep this the same as last year. I'm eventually going to print out a bunch of pictures of just like me, my family, my dog, stuff like that, because my kids last year loved that. I just need to update it. And then this will be our safe seat area. And I actually just sent a bunch of posters to the print shop, just all about like mindfulness and breathing techniques and stuff that I'm gonna fill this section up with that they can read while they're sitting over here. This is just a spot if you need to calm down, take a breath. I have some colored pencils, a little journal, and some paper over here as well. <music> Lastly, panning over to this corner of the room by the front door, we have this big cabinet unit, which is so nice. This is used to keep all of our iPads, we have like a little coat hanging area right here, which is really nice, and then just extra storage. So on here we have our class callbacks, which are on my TPT as well as these hand signals, and then our affirmation station. So that is pretty much it, you guys. That is the entire classroom. Oh, can't forget our hallway ninja sign. I found this on TPT last year and I love it. classroom thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite part of the classroom is don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys next time bye